here's the face plant. We are way off. What the heck? This is not Valsina at all. Where did he give us? Where did he put us? Well, we are far off course. This cannot be Valsina. Well, it's in the area. Okay, so mole bear moors is a little confusing. We can get lost very easily here. First, let's uh, take care of this, uh, these enemies here. Which, wow. She was able to do it very quickly and then get smacked down by a mole bear. Dara, Jim Valley ahead. Precipice closed due to rock slides. We're not going to be able to go there for a good while. So don't bother trying to find a way. Let's see, can I do the two mole bears? Yes! Ooh, got him down. So some good... Some good attacks. Good aiming of the, uh, the class actions. That's what you want to do. Okay, Mole Bear Moors is notorious for having so many items and chests and stuff hidden all over the place. Like, literally all over the place. Oof. Yeah, when they do that little red mark out in front of them, you want them to move fast because then their the little uh, spiked ball move comes out really quick after that. You only have a small amount of time to react. Okay, so we need to get out there, to that island. And I'm trying to remember if there's a boss in this area. I don't think there is. I don't think there's a boss in this area. So it's basically just going through and leveling up. Okay, our first of many underground sections. <laughs> it's all interconnected up top, but uh, trying to remember what goes where can be a little confusing. This cave is simple enough. Just one side area with uh, class uh, gems, and really, yeah, you can't really get lost in this particular cave. Now, how you jump up from there, I don't know. Game magic. Oh, hello. Durant! So this is a nice little uh, uh, crossing of paths. Okay, so we're just asking some random strangers to help the king. Okay, Durant. That would be in his character. Now... There is a question mark here, and after three playthroughs, to this day, I still don't know what I'm supposed to do with that question mark. Like, I really don't know. If anybody knows what's going on with that particular statue, please do tell me. I do not know. And I really want to. If there's something hidden there, I don't know what it is. 
because it doesn't require the midge mallet, which is uh, what you need for another statue, which is exactly, that looks exactly the same as that. So, that's not the solution. Oh. oh no. Okay, well, at least I got rid of his, uh, his shield, and that's all I care about. Or one of the hobgoblins. So we can get murdered by my friends here. There we go, I got rid of his shield. Okay, now we got a choice. Oh, we got choices here. Which one should I go through? The left one or the right one? One of them leads to that uh, island out there, and I'm not really sure which one that is. So let's do the right one. Okay. I don't think it's the one to the left there in the upper left of that map section. I don't that I think that one just brings me back topside to where I was. I did not hit a single thing. Okay, was there anything in this section of the game? Nothing. Okay. There goes the mole bear. Ooh, what the heck, Charlotte? You should be watching yourself and your health. Good lord, Charlotte. You're better than this. <laughs> okay, so skip that one. Okay, they wants us to go to that one, so we're gonna skip it, obviously. Oof. I did not see that in time. Or I didn't react in time to this small thing. I told you those. Those ball uh, hits come out really quickly once they give you the red. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I'm looking at the map. We'll go this way. Oof. Let's see if we can get rid of both their shields. Nope, just one. I'm gonna use up both of hers. Okay. Swap over. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. <laughs> it's like there's one more left. I can tell there's one more left alive. Okay, now we got two choices. There's one off to the north here. And then there's one over here that we can go to as well. Let's go to this one. I don't know where that's going to put us. Does that put us here? Ooh. Almost didn't dodge that one. Okay, so there's another one. Give me a moment. I'm trying to figure out where I need to go. Uh, this is new. This is a new thing, maybe? I think it is. This is a new cave system. It doesn't look the same. It looks different. I think this is it. This is one that's going to take us out to the island.
Can I get two of them? Wow, that was a waste. Charlotte, please work with me here. Wow, Charlotte's team getting demolished. Yeah, these hobgoblins are no joke here. Especially since I think they're one level above us. Most of these level enemies are one level above us. That's another thing, and this is something you're probably going to find out. Oh, no, actually we're now one level above them. I did not pay attention to my levels. Um, but the game scales with you. That is correct. The game will scale with you. So, uh, if you happen to be... Whenever you go to a new area, uh, let's say I'm level 14, I go to a new area, then the enemies there will be level 15 or 16. Even if you have a choice to go between multiple areas, like, you can go through areas in any order, the order, as randomly determined by you, will actually still scale with you. <laughs> It'll still scale with your level. So the game continues to remain hard throughout. You'll notice that more clearly when we start uh, going after the end game objectives. So we actually came here for this chest. Ooh, that was... That was good. That that way we don't have to buy it at all. And Reese is that much more powerful. That was worth it. That was worth coming out here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, enemies are starting to become a little easier now. area. Although you can go up here, so there's probably something up here. Yep, there's a chest. Oof. That mole bear caught me off guard. So a good thing for flying enemies is if you hit them out of the air once, you might want to land on them using a strong attack. Because the strong attack will more than likely bring you back down to the ground. So you go through and you uh, attack them. And then you uh, immediately ground pound, basically, into them. So I think if I get another, uh, what do you call it? Oof. If I get another uh, flying enemy, I think I'll see if I can demonstrate that. Okay, we're not quite done yet. There's a few other areas we need to explore. Let's do a little whack thing. Oh look, here we go. Ugh. And and down. There we go. That brings you down quickly to the ground. So you can harm them. And it's funny with Charlotte because when she does the ground pound, she literally ground pounds with her butt. <laughs> And if, don't drop off the ledge here, because that actually brings you uh, back over to the previous area, and then you have to go through all those caves all over again. It's kind of annoying, that. So I would recommend not dropping off the ledge here. And we'll kill these mole bears just because. Who is she going to face? Oh, she's going to face those two. Nice. Two in one go. 
it's really a good feeling when you uh, when you take out an entire group of enemies with just one class action. That's a fantastic feeling. Okay, and I do say we got everything. Wow, these guys bombed. We just got rid of you guys. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a few of them here. Ah, two of them. Not bad. Okay, and this, as we're coming up, as we leave Mole Bear Moors, we're coming up on the intro fighting area for uh, for uh, Durant. Okay, I think. Is there anything over here other than that? Uh, Green pot? I don't think so. I don't think time changes in battles, because if time were to change in the battle, then the enemy that only spawns at night, like this Batmo, would disappear or something like that. So I think if the time is scheduled to change, it'll change after the battle. Anything over here? Yep, there's one pot with nothing in it. Let us head to Velsina. So stats can affect moves, huh? Oh no. What is going on here? Did we arrive too late? Latina mages. Is this going to be a battle arena? I forgot. I think we're going to have to knock the people out of here, and I'm not sure if there's going to be a boss fight or not. Given traditional RPG tropes, I wouldn't be surprised. You're probably saying, like, don't you remember? You've played this three times before. Yeah, that was, like, back when it first came out. <laughs> and I haven't played it since this recording, until this recording. <laughs> Ah, yes, the Crimson Wizard. This is not our main villain. Not for... Not for Reese. Not for uh, Hawkeye. The main villain for us is, is uh, Belladonna, I think it is. But there's another villain out there. There's the Death Jester, and then there's the Crimson Wizard. So there's three separate factions of enemies of uh, of uh, enemies that are working against you, and they're working against you in three separate uh, locations of the world, causing their own havoc in the process. 